aspects of ranching can be beneficial to the environment. We're here today at Yarborough Ranch with the one and only J.K. Yarborough. Hey, J.K. Hey, Michelle. So what are some of the secondary benefits of ranches? So, Michelle, did you know that uh, five of the top 10 cow-calf operations or, or beef cattle ranches in the nation are in Florida? No. Yeah, that, that's true. Huh. So those operations, they take up a lot of land uh -huh. uh, because it takes land to be able to grow cattle. They have pastures. So a lot of that land, uh, not only is it being used for you know, forage for the cattle or you know, for their nutrition, but a lot of it is also tied up in woodlands and other you know, environments that help benefit the wildlife of Florida. Uh -huh. So Florida ranchers are some of our biggest uh, um, you know, stakeholders in wildlife populations and providing those kind of environments for them. So they're preserving old Florida. Exactly. So they provide a lot of, you know, environments and food sources, water and shelter mm -hmm. to those wildlife species. Um, a lot of different species. <laughs> well, I know just being out here today, I saw a couple different types of birds that I don't think I've ever seen or heard, frankly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's butterflies, there's dragonflies, there's like, you have a, a couple ecosystems, right? Exactly. Yeah. And that's, that's the part of ranching in Florida is you have different ecosystems that you have to work with. You can try to work against it, but you'll lose every time <laughs> over time. So well, yeah, we try to work with the ecosystems here. And so, um, you know, cattle is a source of income, but a, a wise person is going to have multiple sources. They're going to have maybe some hunting uh, clubs they'll have yeah. just to allow, allow hunters to come and, and to harvest some of the wildlife they might have here. Um, so white-tailed deer and Osceola turkey are two of the big ones. Oh, is that what this thing is for? Yeah, so we have a, <laughs> we have a feeder in the background. Uh, a lot of times people will put out corn as, as a way to bring the animals to a certain area, or they might put out some protein as well to try to provide them with an additional protein to make them grow a little bit bigger. So how would that work? So if you're a, a hunter, uh, obviously you get your license, and then do they contact you to come use your land, or how does... It depends on every operation is a little bit different. So some ranches are known to have a hunting club and they have a set amount of members that they'll allow to come in. And if somebody leaves, they might send an invitation out to someone else. Okay. Um, sometimes they may just contract with people who are called outfitters. So sometimes outfitters are people who will guide people who wish to hunt. Okay. Uh, and they'll have the, that outfitter will have the connection to Yarbrough Ranch or something else, some other other properties, and they'll get the ability to hunt on those properties. So what are the, you mentioned deer, you mentioned turkey. What about um, hogs? Hogs are big in Florida, right? So yeah, feral hogs are a big and a big problem mm -hmm. uh, here in Florida. And so we have those as well. Um, we actually done some really neat uh, research over at the uh, Range Cattle Research and Education Center down in Ona, Florida. We have some wildlife biologists who've done some really neat research looking at the value of damage that uh, these hogs are doing to our Florida ranches and croplands as well, because their way of you know foraging and eating is they root the ground and if we have something planted there that we need like pasture or a crop they're destroying it essentially right and they also possibly introducing invasive species and so there's a lot of that ties into you know the damage that they're doing and so uh it's really neat research they're doing down there well and i know you know hunting gets a bad rap because you know you're, you're hunting but it's actually really good for the environment and good for ranches yeah uh, yeah exactly hunting is in the state of florida monitored by the fwc the florida fish and wildlife commission and so they have certain times of year when you're allowed to hunt certain species and you always need to get a hunter's like a hunter's license mm -hmm. and in fact hunters are the number one financial con uh, contributors to the um the, the pres preservation of wildlife and environments because they're spending all that money on those licenses and all that money is going directly to those funds and all the, to all those purposes as well that's awesome. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. JK, thank you for showing us around today. I've learned so much about Florida ranches and what it means to be in old Florida. You're very welcome. <laughs>